Hi, I'm Joanne, Adult Services Associate at Nichols Library. Welcome to Crafty History, Mid-Autumn Festival Mooncakes. Today we will be making paper mooncakes to celebrate the Mid-Autumn Festival, which is on Tuesday, September 21st this year. If you registered for this program, you can pick up your craft kit from Nichols Library. Inside your craft kit are materials for mooncakes. These include four base strips, four large circles, four slightly smaller circle shapes with different border patterns, and different paper cutouts for mooncake designs. These include hearts, flowers, and circles. You will also find materials for a rabbit. These materials include a body strip, a smaller neck strip, three white hearts, one smaller pink heart, two pom-poms, and two googly eyes. In your craft kit, you will also find two markers for decorating your mooncakes and your rabbit. You will also need scissors, glue, I like Elmer's glue all, and maybe a ruler. These are not supplied in your kit. In many Asian cultures, the Mid-Autumn Festival is a time to gather with your family at the time of the year when the moon is closest to the earth. When you look outside on the night of the Mid-Autumn Festival, the moon is big, full, and beautiful. Traditionally, family and friends would gather to celebrate and give thanks to the moon for a successful crop harvest. People still get together with families now. To celebrate the Mid-Autumn Festival, many people eat mooncakes. They are also offered to friends and family during the festival. The roundness of the mooncakes symbolizes completeness and togetherness. Mooncakes are made of a thick and tender pastry skin and a sweet, dense filling, often made of red bean paste or lotus seed paste. Another traditional kind of mooncake has five types of kernels and roast pork. Sometimes the filling includes a whole salted egg yolk to symbolize the moon. Nowadays, people sometimes use colorful and different fillings just for some variety. How did the Mid-Autumn Festival originate? Legend has it that there was once a skilled archer named Ho Yi, who was married to a woman named Chang E. In their time, there were 10 suns in the sky. These 10 suns scorched the earth and burned plants, causing great hardship. Ho Yi took his bow and arrow and shot down nine of these suns. To reward him, the gods gave him an elixir of immortality, but there was only enough for one person. Even though Ho Yi wanted to be immortal, he did not want to be separated from his wife, Chang E, so he did not drink the elixir. One night, when Chang E was alone, an apprentice of Ho Yi's tried to force her to give him the elixir. Because she could not fight off the apprentice alone, but did not want to give him the elixir, she drank it and became immortal. She flew higher and higher into the sky onto the moon. There, she was still near her beloved Ho Yi. Heartbroken, Ho Yi laid out fruits and cakes as offerings to her. Others did the same, and this has been an annual tradition ever since. You may have noticed that with our paper mooncakes, we will also be making a paper rabbit. 
Why is the rabbit a symbol of the Mid-Autumn Festival? The rabbit is often portrayed as a companion of Chang'e, the moon goddess. Another legend tells us about the rabbit. Once upon a time, there were three animals living in a forest, a fox, a rabbit, and a monkey. Three immortals pretending to be beggars went through the forest asking for food. The fox and the monkey quickly offered them food. The rabbit, however, was less resourceful, but very pious, and she felt guilty. She said, I'm so sorry I couldn't offer any food to help you, but I can give myself, and jumped into the fire. The three immortals were moved by the rabbit's sacrifice and decided to make the rabbit immortal, sending it to live in the moon palace with Chang'e. Now, sometimes it looks like you can see the rabbit on the moon. Now that you know the background of the Mid-Autumn Festival, let's go ahead and make our rabbit and paper moon cakes. I'm going to start with making the rabbit because some parts of it need to be glued and need time to dry. You may want to pause the video at certain points to let the glue dry. This is what the rabbit will look like when you are finished. Now let's get started. First, take one of the white hearts. This is for the rabbit's face. Glue the googly eyes to the heart. Then glue the pom-pom for the nose. That may be a little bit too much glue, but you can try to add some pressure to the nose to hold it down. Set the face aside. Then take the large strip and make the rabbit's body. Fold over about one inch of each end of the strip. Then glue these folded ends together to create a loop with a flat bottom. On one side of the loop, glue another pom-pom for the rabbit's tail. Again, you can set that aside for a moment. Next, let's make the rabbit's ears. Take another white heart and cut it in half. Then trim it so the halves of the heart look rounded like ears. Take the small pink heart and cut that in half as well. These will be the inside of the rabbit's ears. Trim the halves of the heart to make them round and then glue these pink pieces onto the white ears.
Hopefully, by now, the rabbit's face has dried some. Draw whiskers on the rabbit's face. Then glue the ears to the back of the rabbit's face. After you do this, you may want to pause the video to let the different pieces dry. Now we have to attach the rabbit's head to its body. Take the small strip of white cardstock for the neck and fold it into thirds. Glue one end to the body. Then glue the other end to the head. Lastly, we will make the rabbit's feet. Take the third white heart and cut that in half. Again, trim the edges so they are round. Glue the feet to the bottom of the rabbit's body. And there you have a complete rabbit. While you make the mooncakes, you can set the rabbit aside so it can dry some more. The next part is making our paper mooncakes. There is a lot of variety in mooncake decorations now. Here are some examples. These are customary mooncake designs. Traditionally, Mooncakes had imprints on top consisting of the Chinese characters for longevity or harmony, as well as the name of the bakery and the filling inside. Imprints of the moon, Lady Chang'e, flowers, vines, or a rabbit may also surround the characters for additional decoration. People have gotten much more creative with mooncakes experimenting with colors and different patterns and designs. You can see that in these examples. Here is one moon cake we will make. It has the character Ria on it. Ria means moon. For our own moon cakes, first we will make the base. Take the base strip from your craft kit and fold over one edge of it somewhere between a quarter to a half inch. Sometimes I like to do this along the edge of a table for a good crease. Then snip along this fold. The idea is to provide a place to glue the top of the mooncake. cake. 
Shape the strip into a circle and glue the ends together. You may have to make adjustments for a circular shape. After you have glued the ends together, you have the base of the mooncake. Here's the fun part, designing your mooncake. I'll show you how to write the character for a moon and decorate your mooncake that way. You will need a large circle and a smaller circle. This is how you write the character for a moon, or Rhea. Some of you may know that there is an order to how you write the strokes. Glue the smaller circle onto the larger circle. Then add decorations if you'd like. I'm going to add some flowers. Next, put glue on the rim you created on the mooncake base. Glue the top of the mooncake to the base. You may want to turn over the mooncake to add pressure to the top of the mooncake. And there you have your first mooncake. Let's try this design of a flower. Make the base of the mooncake the way you did before, folding over the strip a quarter to a half inch, cutting it, and gluing it into a circle. Because we've done this before, I've sped up the video. To make the flower, take the flower cut out from your kit. This is where a ruler may come in handy. Draw lines across the flower to bisect it at different angles.
Then take a small circle from your kit and draw small dots on it if you'd like. Glue the small circle onto the flower cutout. Take a large circle from your kit and glue the flower cutout onto it. Then put glue on the rim of the mooncake base again and glue the large circle to it. You have finished your second moon cake. Here are other sample designs you can make. If you're interested in learning more about the Mid-Autumn Festival and Mooncakes or sharing this holiday with children, check out The Shadow in the Moon by Christina Matula. Another option is Zhongguo Jia Ru Gu Shi, or Chinese Festival Stories, which includes a section in Chinese about the Mid Autumn Festival legend. This fall, through the end of November, Chinese Story Times will be held Mondays every week from 9 30 to 10 a.m. in the Nichols Library Community Room. There are other Chinese Story Times at 95th Street Library. These are from 11 15 to 11 45 a.m on the second and fourth Saturdays of the month. Check our library events calendar for more information on these story times. You can now celebrate the Mid-Autumn Festival with these mooncakes and their rabbit friend. Have a happy Mid-Autumn Festival. Thank you for attending this program. Have a wonderful day.